Hello everyone and welcome to another unit review and this unit review is a little bit painful because I don't have the unit and nobody on my friends list has the unit and nobody anywhere has the unit. Uh, well, I think some people got him, but long story short, I'm not really in the mood to bug anyone and this is going to be a short review anyway. So today we're going to be talking about Ulbrich from the Octopath Traveler. Here he is. This is Ulbrich. Just imagine he will be on screen the whole time because he won't anyway. Anyway, long story short, Ulbrich, we're going to compare him a little bit to C.G. Sagheart because I think C.G. Sagheart probably the closest to who uh, Ulbrich's kit kind of resembles. So let's get right into it. First of all, Ulbrich, he is straight up a physical and provoke cover tank. So he has some natural provoke in this kit, and he also has a lot of options to basically cover. Oh yeah, let's run some music too while we're at it. Now his trust mastery, 40% HP, 20% defense, 100% paralyzed resistance. I think this is a great TMR to get for any tank in the game. 40% HP is a lot of HP, 20% defense, still what they want. And Paralyzed Resistance is actually really valuable. So I think these TMR is good for a lot of tanks. Also might be potentially good for some supporters or buffers or potentially healers too. And the Paralyzed Resistance is just a bonus. Super Trust Mastery is Light Armor, 1000 HP, 62 Defense, 55 Spirit, and 20% to Attack and Defense. I think this is a generally fairly strong thing for, again, support, defense-related units, um, but honestly, not quite as... Okay. Um, not quite as necessarily necessary or needed. I think it's a definitely super TMR level, but I don't think it's something you really want to try for, so... Just something nice to see. If you did get four of them, congratulations. It's a great super TMR. If not, it's probably going to be okay. Now, continuing on, looking at his stat-wise, now I'm basically carrying, comparing him to Sagheart because Sagheart is the unit that I use currently a lot. CG Sagheart is a very, just like my go-to physical thing. He has cover, he has some innate provoke, he has charm resistance, he can charm the enemy, he can cover. He can provoke, so he has a lot of, you know, Sagheart's kit, pretty much what I want. Now, um, looking at Ulbrich, Ulbrich has basically the same amount of HP, like, literally the almost the exact same. A little more MP than Sagheart, which is kind of nice. Higher attack, which really isn't a problem. A lower defense, which I'm definitely not crazy about. Magic, who cares? And spirits a little bit lower. So his stats are slightly lower where it counts. Basically defense and spirit. And this is a trade-off for attack. Now one of the things I'm just not super crazy about in his kit is the general split between his attacks being based on the attack stat and the defense stat. But okay. Limit burst wise. That we can do first. Let's pop that up. Now, his maxed out 7 star limit burst is a 3 turn, 75% chance to defend allies from physical damage, 50 to 70% reduced damage, so a very high amount of damage he can reduce that he is taking, and an AoE 3 turn, 11% up to 40%, 40% of its maxed out damage reduction. Now, this is less than CG Seg Hearts, and I think this is really important because to. Like, while the damage reduction is better on his Limit Burst, and his Limit Burst is dirt cheap at 20 Limit Burst Crystals. Like, literally, you should be able to use this a lot. Honestly, I'm not super impressed, because even the damage reduction is just lower on him. So, I'm not really crazy about it. Um, Sagheart's Limit Burst does do damage instead, but can max out at a 45% damage reduction, so. And, well, that one's 10 more crystals, and that is more expensive, but that 5% extra damage reduction can really be, make a big difference, I think. Um, that's what I think. Anyway, other than that, in his kit, he has ways for 5 turns, you know, provoking of targets, where Sagheart, I believe, he can only provoke for two turns. So, 
Um, provoke, definitely longer, definitely better, definitely don't need to use that ability as much as you do with Sekart to keep that up. Uh, different passives. Now, like I was saying, one of the things I just do not like about Ulbricht's kit is the fact that, unlike Sekart, Sekart's attacks pretty much all use his defense stat as his attack stat, where Ulbricht is kind of mixed. It's a mix between some of his abilities needing his attack stat, some of his abilities needing his defense stat, and honestly, splitting hairs here, you probably just want to build him for defense anyway, so the attack stat ones kind of feel wasted, whereas Sagheart, pretty much everything uses defense, so you don't really need to worry about that so much. Now he does have a, you know, some ways to fill his own limit burst, he has some ways to, uh, he has a lot of passives for HP, defense, and attack. Uh, he has different strikes that can debuff for the enemy. But the probably the best thing in his kit, you know, just to make this a little bit shorter of a review, is the thing that he gets for equipping his own TMR, which you've already covered his TMR is great, 50% to attack and defense, and 160% to defense and spirit buff for infinite turns after his HP drops below 40%. That's really cool that he just gets a consistent buff to defense and spirit for so long, and of such a high percentage. 160% is a lot. Now, honestly, the only real problem I have with this is physical tanks right now are kind of in an evasion spot. Evasion is, for the most part, more reliable and better in a lot of trials, since some of the trials just do so much damage. It's just easier to have a tank that can just, you know, evade something rather than have a high defense stat, since high defense stats don't feel that valuable. Now, it should be noted that Sagheart has a similar ability for equipping his own TMR, and that is, you know, when he not only does he have a 50% chance to ignore a fatal attack when his HP is over 5%, when once per battle or life he gets an infinite 200% increase to defense and spirit after his HP drops below 1%. So provided he survives uh, and with his own ability, he can basically you know get a 200% buff infinite. So it actually does beat Ulbrich pretty bad, even though Ulbricht is a little more flexible on when it can happen. Now the other thing I really like is his last ability. 40% HP in defense, 40% chance to counter either physical or magical with a ability that gives himself 30% damage reduction. That makes him, you know, considerably more survivable if he just counters and gives himself damage reduction. In general, I have to say that, you know, I really... I think Ulbrich is a solid physical cover tank. There's no doubt in my mind. He's definitely better, a, or he definitely feels a better kit than someone like Gladio, but he doesn't feel as good as Sagheart. Sagheart also has charm immunity and can charm the enemy. That makes Sagheart more valuable both in Arena as well in Trials, since Natural Provoke means that he can get targeted by charm and not one of your other characters, including your healer. So. That is something I really like still about Sagheart. The long and short of it, basically, is that while this guy has a definite decent, you know, uh, kit, including an ability boosted spearhead, which is 670% AoE 30 hits at 4 frames, so Runera chaining, that debuffs wind and earth resistance for 70% for 3 turns AoE. While all of that is really, really good, I just think he doesn't quite make the cut. If you want damage dealers, you probably just want, you know, an Axter, Axtar or a Satan or, you know, a Jet or any of those units. If you want a tank, I still think that Sagheart beats this guy pretty handily down. Pretty hands down. But if he was your only 7-star tank, he would be more than passable for a physical tank. And I think he's actually really, you know pretty darn solid. So there isn't going to be a showcase in this one, which is kind of too bad because um, I always enjoy showing off the units even a little bit. But long story short, Ulbrich, he's damn solid, but doesn't quite, mad, you know, compare to the top. The creme de la creme. Anyway, guys, 
that is all for now. I'll see you next time. See you next time.